in our previous video we discussed the plot of the novel second class citizen by Buji and Macheta and in that video we discussed the background of the novelist Buji and Macheta comes from the Igbo uh, tribe in Nigeria and we also discuss uh, his marital experiences vis-a-vis -vis the plot of the novel Second Class Citizen. Today we'll be looking at the themes in the novel and for those who have not watched the first video on the plot analysis for you to have a good understanding of the themes in the novel uh, it is very important that you watch the video the video is already on the channel uh, plot analysis of second class citizen so please do wait to watch it and also make sure you subscribe so that uh, you will be notified when another video on the analysis of the characters will be uploaded so we discuss in that video the plot of the novel how Ada uh, went through a lot of experiences from childhood was not able to go to uh, school because uh, the money that the parents have have to be used for the younger brother who is a male and then the priority of uh, giving education to male in the Nigerian society at that time so today we'll be looking at the themes what are some of the things that are very dominant in the novel of course if you have watched the video on the plot analysis you will be able to measure one or two either racism or something that has to do with patriarchal marriage and other things so let's look at the ones we have here now we have uh, marriage and uh, in this i title it marriage without love why is it without love was there love that exists between Ada and Francis at the beginning of the novel? Somehow you can say there could be love, but also you did not see a, a clear definition of love in the novel. Because what we have is uh, Ada taking opportunity of her, trying to escape the trauma from the family. And then we look at Francis, Francis having somebody who is educated at least to a secondary school level and working as a clerk in the library who is any far more than him so the family of francis also see it as an opportunity to have a woman who is financially independent who is financially buoyant that can help the financial situation of the family that is one of the reasons why Ada was married so the purpose was not really because of love and that was trying to escape because he was even being rejected by the family and at the same time the father have already loved, have already died so since the father is dead and the mother have remarried and uh, she has no home the uncle's home is not favorable it's not conducive for her so she's trying to escape the reality and why francis also tried to take opportunity of a woman without a family have uh, have money of her own independent woman so there is no love exactly in the novel the marriage started on the wrong footing because both of them are under age they got married to each other not on the premise of love but for other reasons and some of the other reasons they want to mention like uh, the issue of her and that not having a family and then France is also interested in having a woman like Ada. So let's look at another one. The theme of racism. In fact, the purpose of the reason why the novel is tied to second class citizen is because of uh, racism. And at the same time, is because of uh, patriarchalism. Because in the Igbo society at that time, male or the male gender are given preference in everything, in education, in property. In fact, 
in the Igbo society in Nigeria, women are not entitled to the properties of their fathers. But that has been settled recently by the judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria recently, which uh, nullifies such tradition, holding that uh, that tradition is against fairness, equity, and justice, and it is not it contravene the Nigerian Constitution of uh, Equality, the provisions of the Constitution on the uh, equality of sex. So that is even the reason why some fathers are giving properties to women or to female gender and this contemporary society but even still despite the judgment in some remote areas in the Igbo land to date women are regarded as second class citizens and they, they are not giving properties of their father or they are not part of the share so racism started evil from uh, gender base in Nigeria and then when he traveled to London there was a massive racism the black are being considered as second class why because of their skin not because of their intellect because there are several blacks that are very intelligent or can even lead the white in their various classes or professions but the skin is the problem so Ada also suffered a lot of uh, racism when he got to London the place where the husband of Francis was staying it was a place earmark or a place that is set aside for the blacks a house that is not befitting their status so that is one of the things that happened and then it was even believed that a black man at that time cannot have a very good job in London because of his skin but we saw that Ada, Ada was able to get a job in the library and then he began to feed the family Francis was ineffective Francis was not working as a husband and several times he failed his exam despite going to London to study he failed a lot of he failed in several attempts and at the end the racism took a very toll on him in fact it conscientized his mind that he is not going to make it as a wealthy person in the white society because of his color and that was one of the reasons why he was an irresponsible a husband that belief, that mindset. So Ada suffered a lot of racism. Even the children of Ada. And also the entire black race in London at that time. So everyone is coming to London. The student from Nigeria, from Africa, from India, from several places. So all the blacks are grouped together. And they are regarded as inferior second class even those who are citizens of london are regarded as second class because of their color not because of their intellect because the white from other countries maybe like america united states are not regarded as second class at that time now let's look at another one irresponsible husband why is francis irresponsible and we start by discussing the psychological irresponsibility of Francis. Francis started his irresponsibility from Nigeria. When he was traveling to London to go and study, he displayed his irresponsibility by accusing Ada for not crying for him at the airport. Because Francis' mother was crying, Francis' sisters were crying, but her dad was psychologically traumatized. The weight of taking care of the children only was weighing her down that what was happening to her, she was bleeding inside. She was not crying, shedding tears physically. But Francis interpreted that to be a woman that do not have interest in her husband. 
a woman that does not care. And he refused to call her that when she traveled because her dad did not cry for her, did not cry for him at the airport. Why her dad was still feeling it days after he left. The mother and the sister that cried for him have already forgotten about that. Because her dad was there for them to provide their financial means. So and I was collecting money, feeding the family of Francis, and at the same time sent the money to Francis in London. Yet Francis did not appreciate that. Even when Ada returned to London, Francis was still quarreling, arguing. He would not go to take the children to school because he would not be stay as a wife to Ada. He would not be under Ada, and even claimed that. Uh, some of his friends mock him for taking children to school. Why the wife is going to work always? So you can see the kind of uh, mental irresponsibility when you don't have a very good job and uh, your wife have a very good job. Instead of you to support your wife, you are claiming that your wife has to take the children to school before going to work. What if she suck? What if she get late and then uh, have challenges in the office? So, Francis did not put all these to consideration, and at the same time, the feeding of the children, the payment of their school fees, Francis were not the one responsible for them. Rather, it was Ada from the money he got from working in the library in London. So, Francis was mentally irresponsible, and at the same time, physically not caring for the family. Now, see. We have another one, dream, determination and reality. Who dreamt in the novel? Yes, Ada was full of a lot of dreams. He dreamt that he's going to go to the United Kingdom. He was determined to make sure that comes to reality. And at the end, he traveled to the United Kingdom. Not only that, he was able to get degree in sociology there. He dreamed of having a degree and then that dream also comes to pass. I cannot say about any dream from Francis because he was not even determined to achieve something tangible. So we saw that at that dream of going to Bito because a barrister has come from the United Kingdom and all the people, all the umuna, all the family members, we are respecting him. So at that admire the man and wishes to be the United Kingdom. And we saw that at the end, and I was able to get that. Also, he got the degree he want. He was able to train her children before he died in 2017. Oh, sorry, before the... <laughs> and that did not die. The author, I mean, Buchi Emechita, in 2017. So before then, we saw that he, the story is about his, about her own life, and uh, she was determined, and then uh, the determination comes to reality. Now, this is uh, about uh, the themes. In the next video, we are going to be discussing the characters: who is Francis, who is Ada, who is Ophelia the mother of Ada, the father of Ada, the parent of Francis. Who are those that are now meeting in the United Kingdom? What happened there? The characters that play each role. We are going to be discussing them one after another in our next video. So make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so that you can get notified when the video on the characters and characterization are uploaded. Thank you very much.